Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Percival, or Scuffed Gamer, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Uh, we are Dead God, as you can see, and uh, I mean, what do we do now? You know, what's... I have to sneeze. What's going to be the play here? Yep, it's going to just sit there. Sneeze is just going to sit there and wait, huh? Um... <coughs> oh, I'm sorry if that destroyed, uh, destroyed everyone's ears. What is there left to do? Well, we could play some runs for fun. We could play... No, we should do... We should give uh, Tainted Lazarus another go. Let's give Tainted Lazarus another go. Uh, regular hard mode, thank you. Not greed. Oh, man. That was... That one... That one kind of messed up my neck there. Excuse my homies that are in, the, in my Discord. So what is the deal with Tainted Lazarus? Well, Tainted Lazarus has flip. And so when you take an item, you may notice there's like a spectral shadow of another item. And in this case, I could tell that it's probably most likely Blood of the Martyr, although I suppose that could be Play-Doh Cookie. And we could take it, and then we could flip back. We could pick up the other item. Now, if you pick up a pedestal and leave the room, I do want to caution everybody to know that uh, the pedestal will disappear if you don't have flip up. Uh, flip does not work on boss rooms because they are not pedestals that exist before walking into the room. And so, again, if your item rooms are super important, also shops, they count. Basically, as long as the pedestal was there during the beginning of the room, then it will work. In theory. <clears throat> We've seen some, some bugs happen before. Sorry, I was just terrible play. I was distracted. <laughs> Super distracted. Yeah, and so they do not share an item uh, pool. So if you have the opportunity, we definitely want to be able to buy a soul heart for uh, A-side Lazarus, a live Lazarus, which we will not be able to do. Cool, because we uh, don't have one in our shop. I can't tell what's behind this. Oh, it's pill, mom's bottle of pills. <clears throat> So I really don't care to have flip. So as you can imagine, Lazarus is, you know, he's he's fine now. Like he's still difficult in a way. He's still a challenge. But at least this way you can find some way to get parity um, between you and your items. Or between you and your two copies of Lazarus, A side and B side. Uh, A-side suffers a lot from the range and damage issue. Uh, B-side suffers from lack of speed and tears rate. Unfortunately, you won't probably find yourself in a situation to remedy these issues during the course of your run because it's just whoever happens to be the A-side or B-side at the time. But like, so for example, A-side we gave Scorpio, even though we could have cleared one more room and given him damage. But Scorpio is, is pretty... I guess this is it. No, then, so we played it correctly. <clears throat> yeah, A-side has Blood of the Martyr. I got confused because the HUD on the right uh, is flipped so that whoever you're currently playing is on the left. But make no mistake, this is B-side. This is B-side. So if we wanted to, we could go in right now and we could buy Potato Peeler. And it might, it might be worth it. It might be worth stripping this heart away from this Lazarus and giving him Potato Peeler for a little bit more. I want to say it's speed tears damage, but it's very uh, light. <coughs> but we'll do it. We'll do it. Skinny Up Mushroom and the Necronomicon. Un momenti. Okay, the other Lazarus has worse tears, I believe. So, what to do, what to do. This is, this is actually kind of tough because <clears throat> it doesn't really matter too much who does get skinny up mushroom. Kind of. I mean, the other side probably could use it. 
So do we want to clear one more room? I think we do. I think we want B-side to have the tier rate. You know I'm going to get hit by these spikes. Yes, yeah, so the potato peeler gave this character a little bit more tears and, uh, and damage. Not tears, but damage. It's very, uh... <clears throat> Some people say it feels inconsequential, but you also get a cube of meat, you know? Let's go ahead and get... Get this party started. And then we're gonna flip. Take the Necronomicon. <clears throat> I mean, when we clear the next room, we'll, we will come back to get the potato peeler, just because it doesn't make sense to leave it down, just because we're not going to use it. We may use it eventually. I think both of our sides will end up having a cube of meat now. Unless they give us ball of bandages, which is fine too. No real reason to use the Necronomicon in this position. Now, would it end the fight? Sure. Do we care enough? No. Alright. Let's go get that potato peeler. <clears throat> I don't remember what Birthright does for this Lazarus. I don't know if it makes like a spectral version of Lazarus that like follows him around and, and so on and so forth. But you could you can see that like yeah, like our damage got tanked. But this is the poison tears B side that the damage is pretty acceptable anyway. Let's try to get flip before we walk into our next item room. Yeah, he's definitely a killer this one. And we can just kind of use the Necronomicon with impunity. It helps us clear rooms quickly. We don't have to worry so much about getting hit in rooms and losing HP. We already don't have a lot of HP, you know. And typically on these low HP characters, I do find myself interested in uh, going Angel Deal. Because we just don't have a lot of HP to throw around and getting a good angel item on somebody is really ideal. Uh, B side, or sorry, A side Laz could seriously use range because you can see our range is just awful. Cornflies, the worst enemy for 4 1 2. I was hoping for a big room for this Ace of Spades. That's fine. Ace of Spades is going to turn everyone into keys. Thank god we have this tier rate. Not having to deal with Claudies is, is just so good, man. Seriously. We're already here, we might as well fight the boss. It's going to be Gurglings. Okay. As you can imagine, poison is pretty good against most of these enemies here. Not just regular enemies, but also bosses. Just supplemental damage, really. Perfect time we can get this black card on this Lazarus. Walk away. Try to force the angel deal. And we could get some money. We could use some more dollars. Some more dollar signs for our, our boy. We could go tap this blood donation machine for fun. Okay. I'm actually going to leave that. Our other character could use some speed. And uh, could use some speed. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Yeah, these, these stonies. 
stoners are not not my favorite, not the best. Glass cannon is uh, hmm. not something that we really want. Uh, glass cannon, for those of you who don't know, uh, is an item that makes you take additional damage. But in exchange, it is an active use item that can fire a high damage projectile. And it's okay. You know, if you if you believe that you're not going to get hit, you could use it. And maybe maybe you won't get hit. You know, maybe you'll be you'll be great. I want to say that flip side is steam sail. Well, that kind of solves that for us. I, I was really kind of hoping that we would get some some money. And I guess there's a chance that if we crack this pot in this head, that we might be able to get it. Oh, okay. So the question is, are we going to flip in there? Is blood bombs really worth it? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. Actually gonna flip in here, buy steam sail, buy the soul heart, and we're gonna move on. Not a bad floor. A side Lazarus has the steam sail. We've got a soul heart to protect us, and all we have to do is play through the caves pretty well. And we might be able to do that. Now we have an issue where we want to also keep up flip for the angel room. I want to say it does work for the angel room. Yeah, now we're definitely moving pretty well on this character. This character's definitely got some... He got some milk, you know? He definitely got some milk. got hit there. I almost got hit because I wasn't paying attention. And we're actually going to have to walk all the way around here. I, I am going to use the potato peeler on the other Lazarus, and the reason why we're backtracking is because we want to use the Necronomicon in this giant room so we just don't have to play it. You know, we don't want to have to play an unnecessary room, and this is the perfect room for that. Yeah, this room just became infinitely more easy to manage. Infinitely easier. English. Now, I'm not convinced that we're going to get an angel deal because it's very low percent. It's 33 and a half percent. But there's always a chance. Unfortunately, we found the boss room last, so it's not super likely that we'll end up having flip for our both our item room and our boss room, so we're going to have to make a choice. This room is just really, really annoying with the, the range that we've got on this character. I'm just going to try to take these bomb flies slowly, one at a time. We can check our shop, there's no harm in it. If it's a greed fight, all the more all the more better. Yeah, all the more better for us. It's mom's key or the map. And when we next flip to A side, we will uh <clears throat> we will be able to get it in theory. If if the double steam sale rules apply. If not, then eh. It's unfortunate, but it's it is what it is. Like is it half price and then half price again? Excuse me, let's go find out. I 
I do like the cerebral kind of a way to play this character. You have to be thinking about like when the rooms are gonna get cleared. Yeah, see, it doesn't, it doesn't count, unfortunately. There's really good items in this shop though, and a full charge. So if we ever need, 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 need to flip, uh, we can. We're gonna have to play this challenge room. We don't have to, but we should, because we need the money. If there's money. There might be money in this room. Two bombs. Two bombs were in this room. It's a really good challenge room. Wow, a whole penny! I'm shocked. Okay. Can you dig it? It's funny, this is gonna make life even more frustrating for us because we <laughs> We are actually going to go back to the store, buy the key, and Mom's key is only on B side. The other side is the map. And that is the way that that works, ladies and gentlemen. If you buy, if you buy an item in the shop and you flip, you will still have the pedestal. Now that we have the map, we can see the rest of the floor. We for sure know the boss room is for sure, for sure going to be up there, which means that our item room is over here. We need to hope that we can get three cents, otherwise uh, we will not be able to flip and get two items in this item room. We'll do everything that we said I wasn't supposed to do. That's really awkward. Money? Is rather unfortunate but hey you know we we are playing the game we're playing the game it's gonna be rag mega okay you know I really don't like rag mega as a fight I think Ragmega is really frustrating because uh, Ragmega has iframes. I don't know if you know this at home, but when he's spawning these fighters, he gets iframes. He gets some damage on this side. We will take some damage on this side. Might as well go back to this item room and try to pick up whatever item is in here. We, we I don't think we're going to be able to get uh, the flip for this. It's going to be Loki's horns. Should never have come in here. I don't like Loki's horns. Loki's horns sometimes has a tendency to shoot. I mean, it doesn't have a tendency. It is programmed to shoot behind you sometimes. We don't always want that. We'll just go down. We'll just go down. Crystal all lost, that's cool, especially because we just got the map. We're definitely putting out the damage on B side. Stars card, we can use that whenever we uh, have flip up, which is pretty good. Now this, this side is really having some issues. A lot of issues. And I know that that is obvious because we haven't been giving him almost anything of stat value. So we have to make it a point to try to get him some stats on this floor if possible. Tears, speed, damage even. You name it, he needs it. He needs some milk even. Alright, 
flip is up. Star's card over. I don't know what that is. And I sure wish that I did. I mean, we could take Gish. It's the eternal D, homie. D, daddy. Oh, sorry, it's the D1. It's not the eternal D, it's the D1. Okay. I want to say they changed the D1 also. Yeah, I want to say the D1 now does not necessarily always make the same thing in the room. Like, if it's a key, then it might be two keys. If it's... Or like a charge key or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying. So is it still good? Absolutely it's still good. You know, whatever you need, it should be able to make a copy of it. It's not incredible. Now, words cannot describe my hatred for Curse of the Lost. Now, Curse of the Lost doesn't really, like, hurt you in any real way, except for the part where it makes you feel like you don't want to play the rest of the floor, because you don't know where you're going. You know? And I guess there's something to be said for that, but it's like... Guys, we don't really have to... not play this floor, you know? Like... We can go through the rest of the room and still do the floor. We just don't want to have to waste the time. They went up here, didn't we? Yeah, it was a mini-boss. I feel like we're slowly but surely clearing every single room. That's what they want. You can see I used the D1 there to make another chest. And we're gonna have to wait before we flip back to B side to open these chests, and we will because that side has mom's key. One of the best things that we could definitely find in this angel deal would be like revelation for this a side because then revelation isn't tied to our tears ray and we could just shred enemies with our regular dps and fly all right some pretty good chests because of mom's uh key so i'm a big believer in mom's key i mean obviously i'm a little biased because mom's key is the reason why we ended up getting Dead God in the first place. As we broke a greed run. Do we just want to bomb him for two bombs? Yeah. <clears throat> I totally knew that was there. Mm -hmm, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Professional gamer, by the way. Uh, sure. Yeah, we're more than happy to have uh, Rune Bag. I'm not going to flip, though, because I actually don't think we want to flip for this garbo garbage we're looking for the store now because we have enough money to go into the store and as you know this side has a steam sale and not the right way it's even more vexing for somebody like me who has uh, a really hard time finding the right direction normally in all things. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not the most... <laughs> definitely not even close to the kind of person who has a good sense of direction. You know, anyone who knows me knows I've been having to use maps and things like that since, since forever ago. There's the store. And it's just the perfect time, too. Mom, walk in. It's gonna be Mom's box and tarot cloth. Mom's box and tarot cloth. And get ourselves a good trinket. You know, I don't know if that's a good trinket. I don't know if that's a good trinket. Not at all.
we use the D1 here, does it actually copy something? It does. Alright, so if we flip right now, it's going to give us Tarot Cloth. I think we do want Tarot Cloth. Wheel of Fortune. We'll bomb them both. And we will buy this full charge for Flip. We do want Flip to be up when we hit the boss. <laughs> this boss might be one of the most quintessentially... I'm just going to use It might be the most important angel deal we've seen in a while. Like, we really need to do well. Or get a good, good hookup. That is tears, and this character can use the tears. We, we need the help. It's the rosary versus the spirit sword. Rosary, I want to say, is also a tears up, so we will happily do that. And then we'll flip over to the other side, but first things first. Oh, well, that's that's a thing. We'll fight you, Gabriel. We'll fight you. You think we're scared of you, Gabriel? We're not scared of you, Gabriel. I'm not scared of you and you summoning your little, little baby boys, your little caca heads. I'm not scared of you and your laser beams, Gabriel. Yeah, go ahead. Call for help. I don't care if you call for help, bud. I actually am going to flip back to A side for this. I mean, we're going to use this one to open these chests because he's got mom's key. You know? Does this character need range? We might take the range on this Lazarus and then switch over to give Spirit Sword to the other one. Because that will solve our tears rate permanently. And then we'll actually feel strong on every every facet of these characters. The other one needs some some milk, but that's okay because we should be able to get him some milk. <laughs> so this side has spirit sword and a lot of HP. Spirit sword, for those of you who don't know, turns this into the Legend of Zelda. This other side is yeah, it's mom's box, yeah, yeah. Agalaz. Also has Beth's Essence, which is the Wisp that you can see, uh, Bethany. Still the damage is looking good on this character. Obviously you just need some HP, which is why I said some milk. Actually, we'll just do this in the middle of the fight. Why not? So sue me. You know? Penny, down to this bottom room. This is not the mom's key side. Yeah, Necronomicon is still fine against many bosses and the like. We definitely wanted to swap back before opening this chest. Oh my god. We're rich! Our item room is... I want to say behind that is Parasitoid. So we do want to come in here like this. So as soon as we get flipped back, that's how we're coming into this room. Man, we're going to have so much money. It's a shame, because there's only one more shop, and more than likely it's going to be an Ultra Greed fight. I don't know if the secret room's here. We have 20 bombs. This golden penny is making us wealthy. And I want to say if either side dies, the run ends. 
those of you who may be wondering at home. Die. Get out of here. It still makes me wonder, like, if we didn't have Spirit Sword there, how are we going to... Or, because we did have Spirit Sword, how are we going to clear that room? If we, you know... You know. Sworn Protector. -da 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 -da. Right, now we can just, uh... We can just, uh, flip normal way when we get to the boss room. We don't have to try to do any sort of shenanigans. Right, cool. We do not have flip yet. So we will not be doing that yet. way we might be able to get some some sweet delicious dealies in these all upins. I just need to be mashing to get some of these bosses. Super important guys. Always be mashing. Always be mashing. Hey, it's our good old friend, the Golden Bomb. That's fine. Now, what is this? Hanged. Nope. Let's check this dice room. So D6 for the floor. Just in case we should happen to not like our boss item, we can reroll it. If we had a store item, we could reroll that too, but uh, we do not. We got a black rune that we can use in order to void an item or items for stats. Hope you're ready to meet your maker. trying to hit us, but we're just gonna not let him. The crystal key, huh? I think this would constitute a flip. You know, and then if it, if it doesn't work and we don't get uh, the Bible, if we don't get something good, and we'll avoid it with uh, the black room. That was no harm, no foul. We could have touched it. We could have touched the, the book, but we didn't. I don't really feel that bad about it. Hey, a million dollars. Would you look at that? If only your life were that easy. That's, that's HP. Let's take the crystal key. You know, I know a lot of people are not big fans of, uh, of the Necronomicon. And for the life of me, I can't imagine why. Like, oh, it doesn't do that much, really. It clears rooms for free, guys. It clears rooms for free. You know, like, you don't have to even do that much work for it to be good. 
just have to use it when it's on cooldown. And you walk into a room that you don't want to play, you just don't play it. I, something hit me? I guess one of those little yellow spiders hit us before we had the chance to do anything about it. Now we do not have flip up yet, but we can still check this room. This so gets Eden's blessing and some kind of syringe. I can't tell if it's euthanasia or if it's I mean it's syringe, right? So they all look kind of the same. Right. Just didn't want to do it. Champion belt and king babies on the other side. I'll be right back. I don't know what I was thinking there. All right. We could still use more damage on this one. We'll buy both of these. And then flip. And then this side can take King Baby. Now, King Baby doesn't really do a whole lot of anything. But we took him anyway. King Baby doesn't get a whole lot of love or respect from the community, because. He makes, he makes familiars kind of act erratically. Stand in kind of weird places sometimes, but... Eh. Is there going to be enough rooms for us to swing this? Let's find out. I just realized that that charged our Necronomicon and not our flip, so actually... We don't really have a choice, we have to clear the rest of these rooms and just have flip for the boss. There'll be a battery bagger in here? No. Wow, we're not even gonna get a charge for flip. It's, not, it's just not gonna happen, straight up. Yeah. So that's something definitely to keep in mind then, for the future. That if you're playing a spacebar item like the Necronomicon, it, it could happen, it could turn out that you don't get a charge for flip back. Because it, it, it is taking away from your from your uh, active item. So the batteries rather are going to charge your active item before they charge your pocket active. So there's actually no way now that we can get that back. So we're just going to accept it. We're going to take our licks. We're going to go finish the floor. We're going to use Soul of Eve. He's going to summon a bunch of these crows. And just absolutely obliterate Mom. She never stood a chance, folks. Take the Polaroid. We could check the Devil Deal. But unfortunately, right, like I said, because we don't have Flip, this feels kind of... I don't know, forced. Like, Incubus is really good, and we probably should still take Incubus. Yeah, we'll still take Incubus.
don't not take items just because you're like, man, we could have flipped it. So, you know, don't don't not take it out of shame. You know, you still have two Incubus. Incubus is holding a sword. Now, how could you not like that? So how many of you out there are coffee people? I personally used to be a really big coffee person. And I've recently switched over to tea. Um, just because I also have always had a really big appreciation for tea and tea in general. But there's absolutely no denying that just the amazing sweet aroma and, and flavor profile of just... So Oh, okay, I guess we're conjoined now. Of just like a good espresso. Yeah, there's just nothing quite like it. And there's there's a spot by by where I work that is just always making some of the most fantastic lattes. Just all the time. I could go every day to to that spot and just buy some lattes, you know. And I'm a fair fan of like almost all lattes, you know, matcha, dirty matcha, things that have lots of espresso. They do a horchata, uh, horchata. They do an horchata. <laughs> they do an horchata latte that has cinnamon and you know a little bit of nutmeg. So good. We have to clear a room actually before the map will proc because the game knows that this is not the Lazarus that has uh, the map. Alright, so we were going the wrong way. If I had to guess, I'd say the boss room's on the bottom. We'll come back to open this. We know that the other side is the one that has Mom's key. Bible, man. Alright, you win. We'll take the Bible. 67% chance devil deal. King Baby is causing a little Abaddon to auto fire. A black rune, which we can use on Mom's box for stats. And we will use that on Mom's box for stats. Gave us some range, gave us some shot speed. Really good for the sword that we have. Really good. It's the weirdest shop ever. We're just straight up selling just a... Alright. We'll buy it. It's a real shame we have this much money. Nothing to do with it. Maybe we can still find a secret room? A certificate? No. A man can dream, right? But yeah, I mean, guys, you know, honestly, having some of that sweet, delici delicious espressos in the morning, there's nothing quite like it. Waking up, really good espresso. We'll take a hit. I mean, it's just. I just put something on Spirit Sword. What do we got for our deal? Our deal is the Mark. And Dark Matter. I want to say the Mark gives us a soul heart. It does. We'll flip. We'll take Purgatory. We'll head on up. Pretty good. Pretty good run. If I were the boss room, where would I be? Definitely all the way on the bottom right for corner. It's a good thing we have this um, Beth's Essence to help protect us.
holy bony. We're gonna try not to fight him. We're just gonna use purgatory. We should probably not be going into these uh, crystal key rooms because there's almost no chance that it's gonna pay off for us. Soulheart will come back for it with the other side. I know I say, like, it's not gonna pay off for us, and then immediately Soulheart. Soul of Apollyon. <laughs> My friends are arguing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go in that other crystal key room. My god, can you imagine this room without the Necronomicon? That would have been a nightmare. Also, there's a shop in here? Hello? What in the world? Oh, because it's the... It's the, the, key, the key. The crystal key. Sorry, I'm just so surprised. I, I, got, I got flabbergasted. Excuse me, sir. Please, stop hitting me. That hurts my feelings. Um, hmm. I'm not convinced still that we should... Because, again, options is not going to give us anything. It's a shame, because this is really rad that the Crystal Key opened us a shop. But, unfortunately, there's nothing that we care for. Baby Plum just randomly. King Baby is what's auto firing our little Baden. Amazing. Purgatory, get him! Purgatory, get him! There we go. Take Gosrun, we'll take that down with us to the chest. And we sure will. Well, all right. This is such an awkward fight for this half. So much so that I'm almost willing to flip into the other half. But I'm not going to. So obviously flip will not work on these because these did not exist before we came in. We'll take this, we'll take the intruder, we'll take the bombs, we'll take the lung, we'll take it all. You know, we want it all. We really do. We'll drop the Dagos room for the other side. This, this side has Monstro's Bomb, and Scorpio, and Fear Shot. And apparently also just gets hit. We'll do this just so that we can get ourselves uh, HP. If I was the boss from where would I be? Maybe the far bottom left? It's either bottom left or it's top right, and uh, we have no real good way of telling. So we're just gonna have to beast mode through these rooms. Got 
one down. Slow him down for just a second. Okay, well. Yeah, we can't run faster than this. Alright, let's... Let's just hope that we can get to Blue Baby before it's too late. It'd be a real shame if we were to lose this run this far into the game. Ugh. Sloppy. Sloppy, sloppy! That's the one problem with Spear Sword is you do still have to get close to enemies. You can't just... You can't just run, you know, up into people and shoot at them anymore. I, mean, I suppose you could, but like it's 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 a situation where you may find yourself. We'll take the miner. You may find yourself, you know, wishing you had the ability to shoot tears as opposed to just walking up to people. Yeah, unfortunately, this was the wrong way to go. These rooms could be worse. There's absolutely no way you can convince me to go into one of those rooms right now. It's gonna be double super mega ultra lust. Yeah, I mean, we have been trying to shoot game, but uh, you're not letting me. These enemies have been getting some luck sack shots off on us. Like that dark one was basically dodging us. Don't ask me why I used the Bible there, I just felt I had to. about a second per shot. Yeah, it's a little slower. And the monstro's lung half. Double mega ultra greed. That's not good. We're, at, we're probably just gonna have to let Purgatory do the work for us. Unfortunately. It's gonna take a little longer, but it's safer. I was gonna say one of you for sure has to be almost dead. It's a quarter. Really funny. Really funny. Yeah, because this this B side Lazarus is still way more safe. Because even with lung, we still have the ability to just shoot a, a hail of bullets, a barrage, if you will, of bullets at our target. Man, this is really bad. We're gonna have to hope that the next room we walk in is not that bad. Okay. Wow. That is really, really sketchy right at the end. A real, real, really, really bad. Bad, 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 bad. A really lucky, really fortunate player. Uh, but in the end, it's gonna look like we probably will get the win. Uh, against Blue Baby because this half is, and always was from the very beginning, pretty strong. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy because this fight looks and feels a lot easier than double champion red uh, Monster Road 2. But that's a run, that's a wrap. 
want to thank you all for joining me for this run. It was a lot of fun, actually, to run, uh, you know, the new version of Tainted Lazarus. Uh, we didn't play it so perfectly by the book because we used Flip kind of a couple of times willy-nilly, but hey, you know what? Isaac runs, they're kind of chaotic. And, uh, yeah. If I've learned anything, it's sometimes it's just go with the flow and, and play it how you want. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day. Catch you later.